Hey guys, Rusty here at Ugly HP. Finally got our peerless center transmission axle back from the powder coat shop. Uh, that's supposed to be John Deere Green. I'm not going to argue with the guy, but that's what I'm going to go with. Uh, powder coat costed me 135 for the split case and the output shafts, but what we're going to do is assemble this inner. Um, I do have instructions I'll be reading uh, and then we'll go from there. So first we're going to start uh, all these bearings got driven in. All these are available through John Deere. I think every there's 11 of them total or 10 of them total plus a uh, roller bearing. Came out to like 240 from John Deere. Um, I couldn't find anybody else that carries them. Uh, so, <clears throat> the case that has your shifter on it, uh, you'll get your output shaft, or input shaft, I think that's what they're calling it. Yep. Input shaft, uh, we're just going to put a little bit of grease on it. And it has a shim. Some. A, some of these shims I was able to replace through John Deere because I ended up losing one or misplacing one or I don't know what happened to it. Uh, majority of them you have to buy like multiples, like they don't just sell singles. Uh, so that will go in your hole closest to your uh, shifter. Uh, it does say in notations on your on my John Deere thing to tap it in. because I guess they're known for not going all the way down during installation. So that's going to be it on the on this side of the case. <clears throat> the remainder of it will be the opposite side. Uh, I drilled a hole in my table for the axle to go through. The rest of the assembly will be done uh, with this side of the case. Uh, let's see here. So your next one's going to be this pretty large gear. I don't know the exact name on these gears. Uh, that's just going to sit in there. Um, it does have beveled edges on it. The beveled edges have to be facing upward. And your shim will go in there first. This is your brake shaft, is what they're calling this one. And that one goes... Uh, that's going to be your one that's got the pin in there. Now, I did pre-assemble all this, and I do know that this gear only fits on there one way, so if you're sitting there, like, spinning it, spinning it, and it's not going in, just keep working with it, because... Uh, it is a pain in the butt. And then they'll slide right into place. So from there we have our output shaft gear, which goes on this bearing. Uh, we're gonna throw a little bit of grease on it. And it has a shim that goes there. That'll fall right in place. From there, we're going to put our differential, is what they're calling it in. Uh, it's got two shims on each side. Bolts have to face up. Well, actually, it's got three shims per side. I just left it the way it was from when I took it apart. And that's got to go in the hole in the table. <clears throat> so that's just going to slide right into place.
Now it's gonna be the more tricky part. I'm gonna have to spin this around so y'all can see the rest of the gears go together. pre-assembled it I noticed this thing's pretty easy to put together uh, you do have a shim that will go up here so it now has what's called a two gear cluster and a shim that has to go on the brake shaft, which mine popped out. Now it's moving it. We're just gonna put some grease in there. I'm just double checking all this stuff on the front out. So, gear goes on there first, uh, the spacer next. It's confusing because I'm going off of 1960s uh, instructions, but. So the next one is our I don't know what they're calling this So I'm not going to say anything We're just going to get it in place You have to slide your shim down in there gear fits that in there next. Actually from my instructions, yeah. Okay, so from there is going to be, you'll have your two that go with your shifter, your larger one will go on to here. I'm trying to make sure I have all this right. And then your shorter one goes next. This your three gear assembly goes right there. So that's your low, high, four. And then they're calling this your reverse gear. It's going to be this gear with the bevels, space, space. It's going to go together and. figure out how to add this uh, set. So it's saying your beveled side of the gear needs to be facing down. And then it 
faces. just like that. That's your reverse. <clears throat> There's no shim that goes right there. Uh, your next is going to be uh, what they're listing as your high gear, which is going to be this side down, which is on the back side of this. Let me grab my camera. So... Uh, back side this one will drop down in there it's hard to do one handed and then hold on then you have your other gear goes on top and then it has a shim that goes that's not the right shim there's a shim that goes into place so, sorry guys, I'm trying to camera all this. So this is the gear we just put together. Shim. It's got the thicker shim. All these shim, there's only eight shims, but they're all different in pairs. So the last thing that goes in is the, this part of the assembly. Um, what I could do is show you all guys a picture of it. It is very confusing to put together because you have to have these all line up to make neutral. And then they will slide into these guys. all part of your shifter assembly should turn without spinning the case my hands are all greasy but this should be a neutral so when you assemble it here doo -doo -doo, that should all line up for your neutral right here let me spin this camera around because this is messing me up 